in the life of Michelle. I am so happy to vlog today. Vlogging just makes me so happy. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, hey, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join my family, okay? I am just so, 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 so happy to vlog today. Today I decided to film a day in the life of a nurse, an ICU nurse, um, during this time. I am currently a travel nurse and I am currently on my way to work. I decided to just vlog and just show you guys how my workflow goes. Mind you guys, I have to be very careful because I do not want my license revoked. There's a lot of confidentiality in nursing and the healthcare field that I have to follow. So I cannot, I cannot, I cannot share patient information with you guys. Um, but I just want to give you guys an uh, overview of what my shift usually looks like and what the workflow looks like. Um, I think I can produce that without compromising on sharing like actual details with you guys it's raining it's super gloomy outside unless you guys can see so you know I'm just driving really carefully and if you guys can hear my windshield wipers in the back it's because I gotta drive safe okay um, time right now is 7. I had such a good sleep. I want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor. Shout out to Shut Eye. Shut Eye is an app that allows you to monitor your sleep. It allows you to get better quality of sleep. I've been using Shut Eye, guys, for the past couple of weeks now, and it literally has helped me see my sleep pattern and I absolutely love it. So basically when you go into the app, it shows you your sleep cycle, how deep your sleeps are, how light your sleeps are, whether or not you snore. So I absolutely love this app, um, especially for my nurses, because I feel like we can be that population that barely gets sleep. So getting an app that allows you to track your sleep is just everything. We are here, let me park my car. Another day, another day, another day. Okay, parking. So basically what you guys are seeing right now is my record from the night before last. I was off the following day, so I was able to sleep in. I went to sleep around 11 p.m. and I woke up at 9. And it basically just shows me when I was awake, when I went into light sleep and when I went into deep sleep. And this is just such thorough analytics about what really happens when I'm sleeping. Before I go to sleep, I get into this app and it basically asks me how I'm feeling. So I checked relaxed because I was off that day and I felt very much relaxed. And I always take my showers at night. So um, that's my pre-sleep activity. And the environment in my room was pretty cold. So I checked that. And like I said, I was off yesterday. so. Um, I was relaxed and that's pretty much what I do and then I hit sleep and then it reminds you to plug in your phone because I'll be forgetting to plug in my phone sometimes um, and it basically just tracks how you sleep and I set my alarm for 5 30 because I knew I was gonna be vlogging today so I just had to wake up a little earlier but I usually wake up at 6 a.m. Um, to come to work one of my favorite things about this app is the music instead of waking up to that annoying iPhone alarm I get to choose what I wanted to wake up to. And this is just like the icing on the cake for me with this app. I love waking up to this music because it's fun and cheery and just like jolly. And I absolutely love it. But definitely check out the link in my description box below, guys, for this app because it is a game changer, um, especially for my nurses, my nursing students. If you guys want quality sleep, definitely check out the link in my description box below. But like I said, guys, I'm here. So let me just show you guys what I do when I get to work. All right, guys. Guys, so basically when I get here, I walk to, yeah, I like my hair, it's super cute. Um, I walk to the staffing office to get clocked in. We don't actually badge in, like using Kronos. I don't exactly know why, um, but maybe to monitor us a little bit more. So we have to physically go down to the staffing office to get signed in. Um, I always get to work a little earlier because I like to go sit in the cafeteria to eat a little breakfast. Um, I'm running a little behind today, so I don't have much time. But I, I know at least I need coffee, so I'm, like, I'm going to go to the cafeteria to buy coffee. But I'm about to head to the staffing office to get clocked in. I'll check in later.
So I got my coffee, about to walk up to the unit. It's about to be 7.30, so they're currently doing huddle right now. So I'm just gonna stand in and see what that's about. <laughs> Pascal wants me to buy a Range Rover. That's so funny. What side are you on today? Oh, good for you. Is it that? That's not good for me. No. Okay, you know, I sit already. And the person that's supposed to sit, don't want to sit, so they put me to sit. Oh. I never like sitting. Oh. You have to beg them to come and relieve you. Oh, yeah. But I think the one you're sitting with is, is not too bad. Oh. But when did you hear huddle? Mm -mm. They said one in N95 for two weeks. Oh, shit. Bring your own thing. Were you respirator? You never had one? I did, but I broke. All right. Luckily, I got my face shield. That looks fine. <laughs> One and nine five. <laughs> For two weeks, unless it's soiled. So yeah, but like... I sneeze every minute. I know. It's so, it's so nasty. I'm telling you. And if you're working like five days, like, they crazy. You know what? I'll look. Let's start back with this PPE foolishness again. Again. Let me go get one from her because I want to hear that. Um, oh, yeah. The one that I wear Saturday, I toss it in the trash. All right. Oh wow! You know her dream sweetheart. Something happened. And she was like, "Can you go get me?" I said, "No, patient was cold." You had a dream about it, you said. <laughs> Good morning. I said, "I could be like." Checking in, guys. Just got reported one patient. I am open for admission. Um, so I'm gonna have two today, but currently I have one. I hope it's not too terrible. This is a trauma center, so anything can walk in. Anything. But I'm gonna see if I can finish up with the first person and then be ready for the next. All right guys, so we've switched over to the voiceover portion of the video. I'm going to try to make this as informative as possible. So I'm splitting the videos into partly voiceover, partly not. So right here, I'm just basically planning my day. You cannot have a successful shift unless you plan. So this is just me writing out my orders. Even though I do see what needs to be done each hour, I like physically writing things down because it sticks to my mind in this way. So I'm basically looking through my orders. So generally, I see orders are similar. The more you take care of these people, the more you see the standard IC orders. Um, standard meaning that th these are typically what you see with every single patient as an IC patient. Most of the time, unable to do a lot of things by yourself. So your nurse is basically your everything. Like we're there to reposition the patient every two hours, monitor I's and O's, um, vital signs every hour, assessments every four hours. And if they're like a neuro patient, for example, you would be doing assessments every hour and you're charting accordingly um typically i see orders can be standard but of course you do see patients and where they kind of fit outside the norm but generally when i'm looking through my orders i'm looking to see what team has been consulted for my patients um is it nephrology is it neurology cardiology infectious disease wound care most of the times there are multiple teams taking care of one particular patient. So just because these patients are critically ill, there's just a lot going on with them. So I get to look at my console. I also take a look at my labs. In the ICU, you do have frequent lab checks. Um, so are we trending BNPs? Are we trending lactates? Are we trending troponins? Is there any trending labs? I get to look at those as well. And I get to take, take a look at my medications to see what kind of drugs these patients are on. And other things I look at is just any specific orders. You know, my GI, like my tube feeding, is the patient on the correct tube feeding? Are they on the correct bench settings? You know, things like that to make sure that I'm the most competent nurse I can possibly be. I also like reading my notes because I get to really see what's been happening with this patient. And granted, I don't always get the time to sit and properly prep for my shift like this because you can literally walk into a mess uh, every shift is different in the ICU and this was actually a really good shift so I'm glad I was able to really sit and take a look at my patient. But I'm here to grab a stethoscope from the supply room because I cannot use my own. So just need this here. About to go do my assessment and I will come back 
and just keep you guys updated. Like I said, I am open for one admission. So right now I have one patient, which is so rare because they be tripling you out here. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go do a assessment on that patient, go grab their meds and just be a nice nurse today. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Checking in, y'all. Currently in the medication room. This is one of the things that blows me about this place. I just need a pill crusher and it's telling me that it's out of stock. How are you out of stock? <laughs> oh. But time right now is almost 10 a.m. I'm just passing meds right now. Funny enough, guys, the moment I was done telling y'all, oh, I don't have my admission yet, the nurse was like, Oh, there's a patient that's intubated on the floor. You need to go get them now. So I have two patients again, but things are moving. I haven't charted yet, but it's only like almost like 945, almost 10. So I got time rather the admission coming now than later. So yeah, talk to you guys later. Checking in guys. I just feel so hungry. I wasn't able to eat breakfast this morning. Therefore, I'm on my way to the cafeteria to get some breakfast. I signed my patient out to a nurse, so that's, that's covered. But yeah, I just want oatmeal. That's all I want, oatmeal. So I'm walking to the cafeteria to go get that. Time right now is almost 10.30. They haven't routed my patients yet, and I saw them all the, on the other side, so I have some time to kill. But yeah, before I walked off, off the unit, I handed my patients off to another nurse to watch them for me. Yeah, I see you can't just leave your patients because anything can happen. But I just want oatmeal. Let me go get it. I really don't have a good feeling about today. Like, I just feel like something is going to happen today and I don't want to speak it into existence. But I just, I'm nervous for one of my people today very much nervous for them but i'm gonna do the best i can today i feel so african but i cannot eat oatmeal without carnation milk <laughs> i cannot so oh god i need energy i don't always get a break guys this is a rarity but i really had to prioritize myself my patients are okay so So I just finished eating my oatmeal, scuffed it down, but I feel like I haven't really told you guys what's been happening. Um, so I came in, had two patients, had one patient with an open bed, immediately got admitted to another patient, had to run to the floor to go get them because you can't have an intubated patient on the floor. So now I have two, time is 10. I have not charted yet, but I've been like, just filing my vital signs and monitoring eyes and nose because in the ICU, you have to monitor eyes and nose. I just need to uh, chart it. But I just really love having ICU patients because I get to really take care of them, like critically think and take care of them. I don't know how people on the floors do it. I do get floated while I'm here to like IMC or like step down. And those call bells guys, I just cannot do it. I just cannot. Like I realized that I'm not meant for that kind of world. I would rather have my patients intubated and sedated and I'm taking care of them. You know, that's like, that's my thing. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I like working in the ICU because I get to truly take care of my patients when they are critically ill. But I'm about to head back out there. My breakfast was good. I feel energized, I feel better. Um, so hopefully haven't rounded yet because I got a lot to tell them, a lot to tell them. But I'll, I'll check in with you guys a little later. Like I said, time right now is 10 a.m. Voice over Michelle is back. Do you guys hear this noise in the background? I think ICU is probably the most loud slash noisy place to work. Alarm fatigue here is just, you can't actually, you can't have alarm fatigue because every alarm, you know, could be something serious. These alarms, I knew they weren't serious because the nurses were in the rooms and I could also see the patient's monitors and they looked completely fine. But the ICU is just such a noisy place to work. But if you guys no are enjoying worries. this vlog like, so far, no please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. But anywho, time right now was probably 
12 45 almost 1 p.m here i am just charting 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 on both of my patients i'm charting urine output every hour i am charting vital signs i am charting my drips because those are part of the i's and o's and just writing any observations i've made that i have reported to the doctors you know making sure that my butt is covered <laughs> making sure that i alert them when i needed to alert them i want to get out of here on time so i have to chart from drugs you get to work with my icu um we had to do a bronchoscopy among my people i like working in the icu because i get to work with a lot of cool drugs um like right now i'm about to grab presidex for a patient and you just get to see a lot of cool things it is a critical care environment so you have to be quick like you have to be knowledgeable about what you're doing and there's never really a downtime like you're always doing something even though right now i don't have any meds to give because i'm done it's 5 p.m and i don't have any more meds to give i still have drips to take care of i still have eyes nose to monitor bottle signs to monitor labs to draw so like it's busy like every hour there's something to do if you find yourself sitting down unless you work night shift if you find yourself sitting down work while working in the icu then there's most likely something you're missing because there's just always something to do time right now is what time is it seven which means it's time for me to get up and out of here get up on out of here i just gave a report to one patient my other nurse is getting a report from somebody else so she will come to me whenever but i do need to replace my patient's blood pressure cuff because it's not picking up anymore so i'm in this equipment room trying to find another cable but i mean they're still alive they got a pulse okay it's just the cuff i just need another one of these um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was a bit helpful i know i couldn't really show you guys much but i hope you guys got to see a, a workflow a typical workflow today was a decent day like i'm actually getting out here on time today was a decent day you know how i said i thought something bad might happen it didn't happen so yeah it was a good day um thank you guys so much for watching this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye